Alright, I'm going to show you how you can get WordPress themes onto your WordPress account or whatever. This is for people that use WordPress on their um, own system, on their own um, servers and stuff like that, not that have a WordPress.com account. So first you want to go grab a WordPress theme. It doesn't matter which one ever you want. It can be at the WordPress website or from other websites. But when you download it, you should get a zip file. You can I use um, WinRAR for this. Um, you can go to rarlabs.com if you need that. Um, just do the demo. It works easy like that. But you can open it with other zip archivers or whatever. But I'm going to open it with WinRAR. So I'll just click open, and it comes in just a simple light word file. I extract that. The right to the desktop just to make it a little bit easier close that now you want an FTP client you can use an online FTP client that may have come with your um, server client or um, whatever you want to call it I can't think of it right now your web host client um, mine comes with online file manager but I'm going to use FileZilla because it's really easy and simple to use. Um, there's a link to in the description and on my blog that I'll post this on too. It'll, the whole description will be in my blog. I'll link all the information to my blog and all the information and download links will be in the blog. Now, you'll get this in FileZilla here. You probably want to um, go to File Site Manager. You want to add a site. You add all your host names all this information, the password. Um, you can find this depending on your web host. Mine, I can find all my FTP FTP details right here. Maybe yours is different, um, but you need to find those. You click OK. Then they simply connect to that. You'll just click here. I forgot to name it. It's now connecting, and now you found it. It's right here. I just go, you need to go into um, the public HTML. Scroll down into wherever it is. Go into WP Content. Click on Themes. And then I'm going to click on Desktop. That's where I put my Light Word file. And here it is. You want to make sure you, when you drag this over, you don't drag it into another file. So make sure it's all below and it's not highlighted over another file. And now it will be transferring all the files as such. All right, it's almost done. Let it finish. Doo -doo -doo. And now it's done. Now I'm just going to minimize FileZilla for right now, and I'm going to open up back here. And you're probably going to now you're going to want to log into your your dashboard your thing by going to yourdomain.com or .net or whatever slash WP admin login. Now you want to go into appearance and then theme and then you'll find out what we were looking for because I forgot what here it is light word. You just click on it and you'll be able to preview it before you apply it. I'm not going to apply it because it's probably not set up perfect but probably isn't too bad. And depending on your taste, you click activate the light word or whatever theme that is. Some of them have um, additional options for editing them right under here. Um, but some of them you have to go into and edit it by, you know, edit editing it by going into your files. And some some themes require you to upload extra files into into pl the plugins and the upgrades and the upload files I believe so um, if there's a file in there that has it says you know one file says plugins there's a one called theme then there's one called uploads you need to go into the individual files and place their contents into the, these and then once those are all uploaded they should be work they should work fine in here so I hope that all helped you everyone um, how to simply just do a simple upload of a theme to your WordPress.
Thanks for watching. Now, let's see if we can end this.